game number one, Balloon Boy versus Luna. Yeah, just as you were saying, this is an insane match to start off with. This is literally the first match of the stream, AJ. Yeah, man, indeed. And with that being said here, I mean, we're getting straight into it. We got... Uh... have that leadership when it comes down to the blaster control of this round here. Well, definitely had to see it's a lot of back and forth so far. Balloon Boy is starting to get a little bit more of the, the attacks there in on the Luna. And we're seeing Luna now going into the orange of that first dock. I'm loving seeing this uh, these blasters. I mean, both these players are known for their devious blasters, especially Luna now pulling out the Lucian, really adapting towards that guitar meta that's really been going on here. We're gonna see a delay recovery and just more neutral being placed out from these two. Seeing who can really get the upper hand here. Yeah, and, and what we're seeing right now is as soon as Luna swaps over to his guitars, he's making things a lot more even. Oh. Gets that lovely down signature knockout there on the Balloon Boy. And as we get a minute in, uh, Luna is up a little bit over Balloon Boy, but Balloon Boy needs to be careful of the aggression Luna is really throwing at them at the moment because it's catching him off guard. Oh my gosh. Oh, it almost got him off the legs too, but Luna Jeez. not able to get the knockout, but this is definitely looking a lot in favor of Luna at this point. Luna, as he does, just absolutely goes for it. And Balloon Boy has not been running in this game, looking to get the second elimination. <laughs> Almost gets the GC Delight, but Balloon Boy able to get back. Looking to try to get a stock off of Luna, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Balloon Boy goes down to that final stock. And like, it really came down to Luna going over to those uh, guitars there and really putting in some work onto Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy taking advantage of Luna being on those blasters. Gets a two-piece with Bo. Tries to get the knockout option. Just able to dodge out of what Luna's kind of throwing at him. But right now, Balloon Boy, with how he's got this neutral control, is going to be able to knock out Luna's first stock here. And hopefully they can keep it up here. But I want to see how that bow does going against Luna uh, in his next stock here. Yeah, Balloon's going to have to pull out something pretty tremendous if he wants to win this game. It is all but favored towards Luna. But we've seen Balloon pull out some insane stuff. Or at least I have. We're going to see, oh man, some a crazy GC side light is going to help out Luna in neutral. Continuing the pressure with these guitars. Yeah, he is. And oh, but as we say that, he picks up those blasters and gets a fantastic blaster recovery, knocking out Balloon Boy's final stock there. And uh, yeah, I mean, realistically, that entire game, we saw Luna going crazy with his guitars, knocking those first two stocks with those guitars. We saw a down signature come in there by Luna on that Lucien. So we're going to yeah. see if Balloon Boy can, you know, pull out what many people, I mean, I feel as if everyone would see as an upset here. Yeah, absolutely. And that's definitely what chat's going to be wanting. They're going to want to have that upset from Balloon Boy taking game number two and even taking the set. But I don't know. But one thing you did bring up, which is also a good point, is Luna tends to thrive off of pressure. He's able to deal with stressful situations more than other players. Now, am I saying he can't do it 100% of the time? No. But at the same time, though, he's definitely a lot better than most players that are in the game when it comes down to stress levels. Right now, Balloon Boy trying to say, you know what? I'm going to try to knock you with the downlet recovery. Lands that very cleanly. Beautiful. Very nice job. And uh, right now, Balloon Boy has the lead, but can he keep it? Yeah, I, I want to mention to a couple of your points, you know, AJ, uh, Luna has that that uh, special title for a reason. He is literally the king right now in Brahalla Esports. However, Balloon Boy is looking to maybe defame the king here today. Got a really good lead using that those blaster options just tremendously. A crazy, crazy side air right there. Continuing to use those side airs. Will Luna pick up this first KO? This is the complete opposite of what last game was looking like. Well, it just comes down to the way Luna's really approaching Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy getting that blaster recovery once again onto Luna. Right now, if we're going going into this game number two, Balloon Boy is keeping his space a lot more. I think the first game that we saw, he was being a lot more aggressive compared to what we've seen. But now Balloon Boy is like, let me take a step back. Let me bait Luna into different attacks. Let me take advantage of those blasters as much as I possibly can. 
And right now, as I say that, Luna gets the correct case of downlight ground pound knockout, and Balloon Boy finally loses that first stock, but not without having an entire stock lead over Luna. Being very cautious about the movement, very cautious about those dodges, and understanding where Luna is whiffing. Balloon Boy is sh just showing a beautiful pro brawler case here, but Luna looking to get it back, not able to get the recovery off of the top. Balloon Boy going to take advantage. However, these guys just showing a masterclass of their legends and especially blasters. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, Balloon Boy's holding that stock lead. Luna's just having a rough time against it. And I think dude, that's going over to that bow was able, which allowed for Balloon Boy to really be able to keep it. But as I say that, commentator's curse, Luna comes in, gets that knockout on the Balloon Boy off that ledge. It is one stock all. But now we're seeing Luna with those guitars and we're seeing Balloon Boy without a weapon. And this might be the lead that Luna needs to go ahead and win this game. But Balloon Boy picks up those blasters. Let's see what he can do here. Man, you think Commentator's Curse would uh, be gone by now, but it'll never escape us. Balloon is looking to get rid of Luna now before Luna can can come back from this 3-1 deficit. And it looks oh! like oh, that might... No, not it. Not it just yet. Oh, and sing that low damage on Lucian not helping out uh, Luna whatsoever. Oh! The D-Light NSYNC dropped. Luna, oh. DC delay ground <laughs> Luna coming back from a two stock deficit and beating Balloon Boy's final stock. And I mean, Balloon was just having his huge lead over Luna. Um, but I mean, Luna was just able to come back with that guitar aggression and it went absolutely crazy. So uh, we're going into game number three right now. And uh, should be rather interesting to see what Balloon Boy does. Because, I mean, he's really having a rough time against the aggression that Luna is really throwing at him. And uh, he found a way in the beginning of the second game. But can he keep that going into game number three? Yeah, I I got a couple points to mention. First and foremost, I love that they're just, they're just running it at Small Brawl Haven. I am a big proprietor of Small Brawl. I don't know about you, AJ, but they're just literally seeing who is the best player right in this moment. And um, also a little bit of game text or text in game. Um, Balloon Boy saying, wow, unlucky, or sorry, excuse me, Luna saying, wow, unlucky. And Balloon Boy just replying with, yeah, and, and ellipsis right after that. So a lot of banter going on. But we are seeing some peak Brawlhalla gameplay right now. Well, the real thing as well is that that conversation in the Brawlhalla chat, it's a little bit of banter, but it's also respectful banter. You're not seeing someone say, oh, screw you or anything like that. But hey, Balloon Boy has changed his mindset a little bit going into this game, though. We have to say that, Captain, because Luna is now down to that second stock already by Balloon Boy's blasters. Definitely showing that wherewithal that these pros are having. But Luna looking to take up the top. Balloon doing the same exact thing with that GC delight all the way up there. Oh, nice Two Sares. Oh, Luna. Gotcha. Luna make it back. Nice. They both make it back <laughs> after that altercation like nothing ever even happened. Absolutely. And right now, I mean, we see... I mean, we're seeing the same knockout options by both the players that Blaster downlight and the recovery just because of how powerful it is. Oh, well, it tries to do it again, but... I still have to give that recovery. I, I know it, just, it wasn't able to land it. Luna just took advantage of the, the sides of the map and got the double sider. Luna definitely in the deficit right now. We're going to see if Balloon can keep it, unlike last game. All going to waste all their options. Luna looking to extend it as much as he can. Oh, that cheeky D sig from Balloon Boy trying to come out. Yeah, he's trying to throw it out, man. I mean, he's just trying to take advantage of what he's got, but Luna is just not allowing him to do so. I mean, the aggressiveness that we're seeing, I keep on bringing it up because it keeps on happening. Balloon Boy's just having a rough time, and it's now even, originally Balloon Boy had a one stock advantage going into the second stock of Luna's, but Luna's made it completely even. Balloon Boy absolutely needs this game to stay on a winner's side. However, losing one stock, Luna is looking practically unstoppable right now. 
Absolutely. And he's just going crazy even with his blasters. As soon as Balloon oh Boy goes over God. to that bow, I mean, Balloon Boy's now in the orange of that final spot. Instantly. Nice signature coming up. Luna, Luna trying to go in for the off edge knockout option, but Balloon Boy is like, I'm going to come back to platform. I'm going to play neutral. I'm going to get that side air knockout. I'm going to try to take this into a different way uh, on Luna's final stock, but Luna willing to go in on arm. He's, he's willing to be a little bit risky. He feels comfortable, right? But uh, Balloon Boy needs to pop off with that bow if he wants to go ahead and beat Luna's uh, guitars. Balloon playing oh. very smart right now, not overextending at all, not letting Luna take advantage, <gasps> oh! and that GCN sync catching Luna. Balloon is able to get a game up. The hope is not over yet, AJ. Dude, I'm stoked for that. That was a very clean, very well-controlled final stock that Balloon Boy was able to take advantage over Luna. I mean, his bow control, but now he knows that can counter Luna's guitars. Um, so we'll definitely have to see it be played in game number four, but props to Balloon Boy on turning things around into their favor. Remaining here on Small Brawl, no map change for these two. Not only that, but no legend change either. We're gonna see who can really come out top. Balloon trying to take advantage of some resources gone from Luna. However, this offstage gameplay has always been so worrisome in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, offstage gameplay, I mean, it may favor Luna a little bit here just because of how Balloon Boy's been playing. He's been taking advantage of that neutral control of the platform and needs to have to be on the platform to do that damage buildup combo that he's been doing with Bo, so. Right now, Luna with a very nice combo involving that weapons or knockout option on the Balloon Boy. And uh, Balloon Boy is coming back. He's probably going to try to go ahead and pick up this weapon. Luna realizes that. Like, you know what? You're not going to be able to get without me hitting you at least once. Some once, and Balloon Boy picks up blasters, gets a three piece combo, and is trying to get this knockout option. But I will say, Balloon Boy's blasters. Uh, never mind, I'm not going to jinx it. We're going to go see how it plays out. <laughs> Yeah, maybe not the best way to say it right now. Uh, Balloon needs every advantage you can get, and Commentary's Curse will not help that out. You know, I, I just want to make mention of all those chase dodges that Luna is a, uh, sending out whenever he gets any sort of hit on Blaster, just looking to get that damage, looking to continue this lead that he definitely clearly has. But Balloon, that Nair is not going to do it, but that second one will. Nice. Yeah, and oh, I mean, man. that bow, that bow knockout that Balloon just got on the Luna oh. was kind of the mindset of, okay, I can still win this. Luna comes yep. back, knocks him out. But still though, I, I think Balloon Boy still has the mental game going into this, but I he's gotta be careful. He's having a rough time against his guitars. I Holy right now. What Luna! Happened? <laughs> what? Luna, what did you just f***ing do? Went crazy <laughs> off that ledge. Went in for this phenomenal guitar combo on the platform. Goes over the ground pound and just goes at him back to back to back to back. And that is how you would have set in the Frosted Brawls events, man. Holy cow.